us to do this. And then he turned around and he made it possible for you to do it. He's not asking us to do something that can't be done. Oh my God. 
entire being. It says, in this day and time, we say that our body must tell the will what to do. The world, the system of this world. I just do how I feel. I just go when I want to go. I just say what I want to say. And I just feel it, so I say But the Bible says that our will must bring the body as a living sacrifice. So your body should have more power over you than your will. Because those that be crying holy, we 
not seeing. My, my, my. Show it to you. You're not seeing. You know why you're not seeing? Because this level of spiritual discernment that God is pouring out is going to cause y'all to question them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
be saved. Yes. So you, everything you do, yes. you're thinking, what do God want me to do? Yes. Yes. How is God in this? Is God in Your thinking is holy. Oh, yes. Because then you have the mind of Christ. You're not led by your flesh and how I feel and my emotions. You're always looking at the bigger picture. In the Bible, in the Greek, the word transform means to like metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. Change. When they saw Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration, he changed. That's how your mind should be trained. Your mind should be changed. Your mind should be transformed. You don't think like you used to think. And Holy Spirit is saying this is not a discernment that's being poured, poured out. You got to embrace it. And I think you praise it. Because you never thought this way before. Right. You never had these, these spiritual eyes open like this. So for some people, it's like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. Is this really what I'm dealing with? Yes. You could be dealing with a person for 20 years. And never know them until your eyes come on. Ask me how I know. Come on, man. You'll step back and look at me like, I don't even know you. That part. Mm. Right. Mm. Jesus. Yep. Jesus. It's about to happen. Yep. It's been Okay. Since you ain't gonna fix it, what 
what you want me to do? He said, that's what I was waiting on. Yeah. I was wanting you to ask me. Mm, go ahead. I wanted you to ask me, what did I want to do with you? Mm. He said, because for 22 years, I let you be a woman. I let him be first. Whoa. Mm. Okay. He said, can I be first now? Can you belong to me now? Can me and the Holy Spirit lead and guide you now? Can you give up everything to serve me now? Can you do it my way now? Yes, yes, yes Lord. And the tears streaming down my eyes. Do <laughs> 
know the will of God. How to live out the will of God. He said, always remember the mercy of God to you. The past, the present, and what's to come. He said, I'll never forget that. He said, as an act of intelligent worship, decide, make a decision to yield your entire self to you. Every day, God, how do you want to use me? Every day, God, let me be your mouthpiece. Let me be your hand. What you want me to say? Who, let them look at me and see you, God. Don't let them see a Don't let them see this. Let them see you. Let me say something, God. That'll bring you glory. Let me say something, God. That'll cause them to want to know more about you. It says you have to resist conforming to the thoughts and the actions of this world. Do what everybody else do. You gotta resist that. You can't just go with the flow. Because this is what everybody else do. You can't just hang with them. Because that's what everybody else do. You said more. you have to focus on God's word and fellowship with him. That's how your mind is changed. When I fellowship with him, that means I take time out of every day to be in his presence. Because you make time to work, talk to kids, play with the dog, do all this stuff. You went to the gym. You done done all this. God is in my life. Yeah. Paul says, if you do all these things, then your life will be in the will of God. And your life will prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. He says, you may know what the good and acceptable and perfect will of God is, but you can't prove it in your life apart from the transforming work of the Holy Spirit. He has to take residence. You yes. have to ask the Holy Spirit to come in and do it. Leave me, God. Show me what I should say, where I should go, what I should do. This is why this morning God gave you this this morning. Romans 13 and 11. And do this.
need you, Lord. Let me out and walk around looking defeated. I don't walk around talking, man, if God would No, my God can't anyway. You speak with authority. That's right. You're a king's king. You should be saying declarations. I have my little grandson saying declarations. He ain't the way In order for you all to embrace what God has for you in this season, you must have a supernatural level of discernment. Because if he said, listen, listen. because if he said, confusion and deception is all around this brain breaking. What the enemy is going to do is present to you like it's God. But because you have supernatural discernment, you won't follow. Because you have supernatural discernment, you won't understand that every um, every open door, I ain't supposed to go through. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's why I understand now. I can't visit everybody. Church. Yeah. Amen. 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 John, look if, if I showed y'all a list. The invitations I get. No, no, no. Because discernment tell me, go there. Go sit here. Open up our spiritual ears to hear like you hear. God, we 
into your way. Download your will into our mind, God. To the point that we want what you want. God, we want to walk like you, talk like you. We want to be like you. We want to represent your way.
season, it's all gonna be about posture. How you posture yourself in this season. Dr. Green. Let me, ooh, Jesus, my God. When I go, I know, I know you serve the real, you serve the real God. Because everything that you spoke on tonight was the very thing that God shared with me on tonight. And when I say the Lord was dealing with me and he said there's really getting ready to be a, a, a stirring of the wind. The wind is getting ready to blow. The purpose of the promise is what stands. But there's getting ready to be a wind that's getting ready to blow. It's going to be mighty. And when the wind is die down, you're going to see it. You're going to see who's rooted in him. They're going to be the ones that are going to be standing. Everybody that's saying Jesus, everybody that's saying God, God has nothing to do with it. Nothing, absolutely nothing to do with it. And when the winds begin to calm down, you're going to see who's standing. And those are going to be the ones that you know are rooted in him. You don't have to be afraid because if you get in your word, if you ask God for discernment, if you, if you, <laughs> oh Jesus, my God, my God.
time out for patty cake prayers. It's time out for patty cake prayers. A lot of you are watching me. I'm not God. I'm not God. I'm used by Him, but I'm not God. I'm the worship leader, but I'm not God. There is a sound in this place, and I need y'all to catch this. There is a
somebody who? Oh, that's it. It's time to go deep with him. The wind that's getting ready to blow, you gotta be able to stand. You gotta be able to stand. He's calling us deeper. You come to. 
você que foi o tempo que me Why is she here? Why is she 
work in here with somebody. Fire. They making up lies about you. They putting stuff up saying, did you know you ain't doing But you there on the side.
Not in this season, because there's a disease coming. I'm telling y'all, this ain't the season to play me. Because what I saw in the spirit realm was snakes. The sexual organs look like snakes.